Okay, so last time we were playing La Mulana, we made a ton of progress. We found all sorts of things. Um, I went back through my map of the game to try to think of areas that I still have things to explore and just kind of summarize stuff that I know I want to do. I need to figure out the whole puzzle about sleeping in the chamber of the mother or whatever. Not the mother, the woman. The, the Temple of Moonlight um, pyramid thing. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff that I should be able to do in the Temple of the Goddess. I'm actually going to go try to do that first. I'll try going in from the surface entrance. Um, there were a bunch of doors that were blocked off in the Temple of the Goddess, and I got this item called the... Uh, that was a plane statue or something? That opened at least two doors, but there are other statues blocking other exits, so I'm thinking there might be more exits I can check out. Totally done that before, Buster. Many stupid things are out. Don't think I've ever busted a phone, but I've done other things to make up for that. <laughs> Yay, Medusa heads. I there's an eyeball in that room. It's obscured by my UI. That's super rude. I was like. Huh, maybe I can try attacking this since there's not an eyeball here. Incorrect. False. Still don't know what those little cross diamond things are. There's one like over this way, isn't there? I still don't know how to get in that room with the water. Yeah, that's one. Cool. Where does this go? Ooh, new entrance to Tower of Ruin. That's exciting. I haven't fully explored the zone. To the one who's come this far, face the last trial. The mother's wish can no longer be granted. Huh. Okay, that's an exit. Don't see any eyeball on this stage, so hopefully I can attack that wall up there. I can, but it doesn't do anything. So I don't get zapped. I'll try it from the other side here, too. No? Okay. That does have a La Milanese number on it, though, so I'll try to remember it's there. It's, I don't know if I have the tool to interact with it yet. Dancing character. Her deal is. No eyeball on the screen. It says spirit beneath the diagram. Okay. Hmm. It might be that I'm not meant to attack her. I don't think that was a Shura. Identify the seductress. Identify those who are truly pure. Also says spirit in the diagram. Huh. Hey, how's it going? Loot effects, Dark Star, Prophet Gable, Plaster, Game Saucer, Retro. Oh, she despawned after I hit her there. Interesting. She might be the one that's truly pure. That should be the seductress. Well, I don't know what they want me to do with that information. Interesting. Oh, I'm on the top of this room now. That's cool. It's like the top of the save room. That one also say spirit. It says spirit. Ouch. Hmm. I feel like there's something more to this zone than meets the eye. I can't think of any other puzzles I have to perform here, right? I don't see any, like, deuses or switches. Ah, shit. Whew! I nearly died there. Alright, um... What's my easiest way to get back up top? Probably... Warping, unfortunately. So, Tower of the Goddess. Try going down this time. I want to equip my warp. Looking for other statues in this general area. I think there's at least one more that I never explored. Hey, what's up, Yugabo? Sort of. How y'all doing? Hey, Chaos. 
that symbol up there that we know is connected to one of the philosophers that's in the room there. These guys are frustrating to fight once you do that. Yeah, I'll take the healing fairy, that's cool. Cool. Ladders here, and you read that. Maybe I didn't read that. Um, let me go back up. I may not have read that thing. DLC was fun. Wait, not the new dungeon, right? That one's not out yet, is it? Hunk of flying iron, a machine created by the sixth child. Begin to move when you hold the golden key in hand. Oh, the trials DLC. Okay. There's still a dungeon DLC that's pending, right? Maybe I thought there was another uh, statue with an exit, and I'm just remembering incorrectly. I could have sworn there was, though. Oh well. Well, I think my Tower of Ruin path is kind of a bust. Um, I can see if there's a way to drop into that water area up there. So that involves climbing up and going to the right a little bit. I guess there's a water pipe there. I don't know where that connects to. Check that too. This is where there might be something in the floor, right? There's still an evil eyeball here. Something behind her that's just an empty room, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Oh, you got a third interview? Dude, that's awesome, Yukiko. Way to go. Where where would it be if you are comfortable sharing? Like, what would you be doing? Okay, so I have to go through the water. Not a way down, as far as I know. We already did that little puzzle. We didn't even have to move. Nice. Did it just happen to open recently? You caught the posting? Do you have any sense of what like your Monday to Friday would look like, or what you'd be doing? Ah, there was another one. Hooray! Alright, I already have that fire. Don't know where this goes, though. Chamber of Birth. Okay, yeah, I had more stuff to explore here, so that's cool. Okay, that works. I'd like to get to that save point. I don't think I have a warp to the Chamber of Birth. Fuck. Eyeball mechanic. This is the land where life is born. Praise life and a large clay doll is born. Play doll that protects the golden key. Tiamat's child will regenerate with no end as long as Tiamat's dimensional powers remain intact. Find a way to destroy the dimensional powers. Okay, thanks, dude. Whatever that means. How do we open this chest down here? Just wondering with the little Sephiroth trees with the golem. Right. Isn't, like, golem creation part of Kabbalah as well? Is that Ashura? Brahma, no. Women cultivate life. Men put their lives in line to get women. Beyond the many corpses, a woman waits. There's, like, a fertility statue at the bottom. Interesting. Kind of like skull imprint on the wall back there. I don't know if we can do anything with it. Right, I can't hit these guys from the front. Just damage boost through them. No, it's a lot of work, so I have a Lana Lana text dump that I'm just control Fing through and I remember specific text. So we're not 
taking a break all the time to do that. Okay, so there's nothing there. There we go. Be prepared for death. Women shall not yield to he who flees. Overcome with courage and wisdom. Huh. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Like, that's what I was doing for a while, uh, loot effects. I had a Google Doc map where I was putting comment notes on each tile, but it just it took forever to do. And it slowed down the gameplay pretty significantly. Fucking... ugh. It's the worst. Is this an infinite hallway? So if you get... If you get Belmonted, you're just stuck here forever if you don't, uh... Warp out? Wow. That's... that's pretty long Alana E right there. Okay. Um... At least I can warp out. I'll go heal too, so I'm at like half health. Correct. Yeah, this. You really want to get that uh, that Holy Grail item, huh? You're gonna have a bad time if you don't. Okay. Uh, I think this is my most efficient path back there. It might be competitive with um, just going to the surface and climbing straight up. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. What, what do I do in the weird empty room in the Tower of the Goddess? I'm happy to know that. Miracle plus Mirai. Has that combo done anything before Miracle plus Mirai? Hello there, Naramura. Boss of everyone here. Oh, is Naramura like the creator of the game? Added all the irritating traps. Created as an amateur PC game. The remake is now amateur instead of indie. All of you fell victim to our merciless traps that swooped down on you when you least expect it. I say congratulations. This is a Japanese clausy phrasing. But we kept thinking, do I really have to beat this guy to move on to the next level and kept getting killed by the same monster? I say thank you. That's right, this is Naramura, the father of La Milona. Har har har. Standing up for Japanese indie games worldwide. I'd love to see this game really get people into Japanese indie games. <laughs> it's sort of unclear as to how much a game that can only be enjoyed by people who like the idea of being killed over and over by the father of the ruins can contribute. It's pretty funny. So that's just like a little East developer room Easter egg. Thanks for pointing that out. It's good to see their self-awareness about the, you know, intentional obtuseness of this game. No, I think it's just supposed to be an Easter egg, so... Easter eggs, you're always welcome to go ahead and just call out. I wouldn't find them otherwise. Right. Certain kind of gamer has to be able to play this game. Bullshit patience. Did uh, Overboard Gaming ever beat this game? They were trying to play it completely blind, right? Like, no hints whatsoever. Okay. Gotta watch out for the eyeball. I really want to get to that save point. I don't know if I can get up there, though. I also want to open that chest. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna scan around here. No idea what would cause that chest to open. I don't think I have any clues about it. Probably involves this skull thing to get up top there, I guess. 
Looks like a pedestal over here. Oh, it was the sound of the fairy leaving. Okay. I want to see if I can get on that left side. I didn't notice if it was blocked off or not. But that looks like a thing that I can press down. Uh, let's go down this way first. Skipping. The word birth is written on the inside wall. Something should be placed in it. Well, I mean, I have the birth seal, but I imagine that would trigger automatically if it did something, right? Doesn't look like it. Okay. So, I gotta kill this bird without letting it... Son of a bitch! Ugh. Oh, I was trying to throw my shuriken at the bird. God damn it. Okay. And it hit one of the things that causes the eyeball to zap you, so just need to not do anything like that, apparently. Really gotta get a work for this room. And before that happens, like, five more times. I guess I could just try to jump down and avoid the bird. Hey, after image. Yes, yes, woof woof. I might be able to get it with the, uh, what do you call it, the spear if I jump right above it, but there's still a decent chance that it will hit one of the walls and piss off the eyeball gods, so maybe not worth it. I guess I can try the left side of that one room now. I don't know if it's actually a ladder that I can go down immediately. I can hit the switch that's over there. Deuce heads. So I could also try to take advantage of my stop time power. I only really have like one puzzle that I've used that on so far since I'm covering it. Okay. Is there a ladder down here, is the question. No, but there's a place to drop down that's separate. Cool. Huh. But it's a pillar I can't seem to interact with? What is that? Can I do something with this pillar thing right now? I don't want to attack this statue because I think the eyeballs in his at me. Do I have the tools to do something here yet? use anything that attacks can do something with it. Uh, I'm gonna save that. This should be in the chamber of the mother. Pepper doesn't make sense. I guess there's snakes on the back wall. Really game? Okay. Because it's the snake is on the back wall is supposed to be your clue to do that. This game man. Alright. Um but I still don't know how to get down there, so that's kind of beside the point at the moment. It looks like it's a warp wall, maybe. I right, so don't think I can do anything in here. Or in here, now. It's the one black snake, a bunch, a bunch of white snakes, I see. Prepared for death. Might be able to make that. Alright. Jump at just the right time. Ah, fancy. Okay. It's not helpful. Ooh. Open ninjas, man. I think that wasn't a zap you in the face wall. This is taking me right back to where I came from. So I wouldn't be able to warp here if I didn't put that snake statue down, presumably, right? That face is really suspicious. I haven't seen the Ashura mural anywhere yet. There's, we have a clue that we're supposed to throw a Shakram at Ashura's face at some point. I could try that one. Since I can't scan it, it looks like.
Oh, do I need to like bounce it? Oh, that's probably it. Probably is to sure. Then I see. So I have to like shoot it and then double jump. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> Uh, do you need to do that with the shuriken? Was that actually the Ashura puzzle, or is it just anything that can get an item in there to attack that wall? That's pretty cool. Okay. That's a good puzzle. Three. Oh, I see. Since that room just kind of scales on, so it scrolls on itself. Oh, but I can't do anything here yet, can I? Yeah. I need to get whatever that, uh... I, need, I can't do anything with that ladder, right? Because I probably need to find the, the thing that I can use with the skull on the wall there, I'm guessing. I feel like this should be a thing, but... I believe when I try to use it, it Belmonts me, right? I can't get past that right now? Okay. Well, that's too bad. I was able to attack it, but... Alright. Uh, I'll have to come back here later. I'm gonna go heal up and see if I can look for something else. What other notes did I make between streams of things that I did last session that I want to check out? Um, should probably stop by the old guy, Zelput, and see if he has any, any things to say. I haven't talked to him in a while. Although, so far in the game, he has never done anything helpful, so... <laughs> probably not. So I don't really have a guess of what I should be doing in the Moonlight Temple. Actually, I'll just ask. Do I have the tools right now to do the whole, like, fall asleep in the Moonlight Temple? There's, like, a statue of a fertility goddess. Okay. I guess he has nothing to say. Although Spikey mentioned a couple times that he responds to the thing that I have equipped. Maybe not always. Lamp of time. Don't use it in front of me. Okay. That bone. It's creepy and definitely cursed. Oh, he only comments on each item once, I see. I guess if there's a comment he made that's relevant that I missed, you can go ahead and tell me, because I haven't written down anything he said, nor considered any of it important. Scratch that any of the two people got. Here you go. Talisman belonged to your father, went in the ruins, and ain't come back since. Researching something deep inside. Look for your father's diary. I'm sure he had it with him. Maybe things he's studying within it. Huh. I haven't seen Sean Connery. Okay, look for the diary. I found the talisman where the Sphinx used to be, right? And what was, uh... see what was through the path of the Sphinx. I don't remember. Yeah, well, it's kind of cool that you have to take notes in this game. I feel like there's a way to do La Mulana a little bit better, that nobody's, nobody's really made a game that has very tricky riddly puzzles and requires note-taking, um, but is also like really clean and polished. There's a bunch of other just jank in this game. That's what it was. These are all the clues. These might even be the clues that my father wrote down. Okay. Boss room. So, what else do we want to check out? Chamber of Extinction, I don't think I've found everything in yet. I remember I found a way into Chamber of Extinction from another map. It was like the top corner of it. Do you guys remember how I got there? Was it from the Chamber of Birth? I guess I can check the Chamber of Birth too. So I have a warp there, I think. Oh, no, I don't. I have a way to get there from the graveyard of the giants. Visor. room. That was in the Inferno Cavern, right? I think so. I think I remember how to get there. 
got to beat this game in like a sitting, sit down for 30 hours. Everything can be as fresh as possible. Pretty sure it was down this way. Yeah. Right, I got to this room and couldn't do anything in it. So way to go back to, ow, Inferno. I guess I can still explore, like, down from this room, right? Ouch. No, this just leads to a boss fight, I think, right? Yeah. This leads to a boss fight on either side. Can't climb up there. And I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't have the tools to fight that boss yet, so. Be mm, clever of you to find this place. I'm doing okay on all those. I've got an enemy that I can kind of farm for. I still can't read La Mulana. La Mulanese or whatever. Five, I think. This breakable? Oh, I see. That's just a shortcut, so I don't have to go all the way across. Gotcha. Yeah, this is what I believe is a boss room. I think there's even an NPC up here that talks about it. Small one called for the large and holds a mystery, then face this challenge with the golden key in hand. I think I have the golden key yet. Um, does anyone have a, without telling me like what to do or where to go, does anyone have a zone where there's something that I can do right now just so I can kind of look around? I guess I could try doing that. Can I do the three tasks puzzle in the, um, uh, the Gate of Illusion? There's this fairy in a chest that I couldn't get to, and she's like, you need to uh, you need to do these three tasks. And then there's these three little clues. It's possible now? Okay, cool. Uh, but I can't get up there this way. How did I get to Gate of Illusion? Was it via the Graveyard of Giants? Did I like, went straight down or something? Oh man, it's really easy to get turned around sometimes in this. Might have been through this shortcut I opened over here. Left the tower of Goddess Save. Okay, thank you. I want to see what's down here really quick just so I can remember. I remember popping back in and out of this a bunch of times, right? Okay, this is Chamber of Birth. Um, I guess while I'm here, is there anything I can do in Chamber of Birth right now? Or not yet. There's a warp to the Chamber of Extinction, presumably. Can't hit that thing. I will die. So can't read that. Don't think I can do anything in this room at all. Still stuff here? Okay. Let's see if I can figure out what it is. I should probably be looking for those warps more. So like, if there's a path that doesn't seem to lead anywhere, I should walk to the end of it and see if it warps me somewhere. This one is super suspicious. It doesn't appear to do anything. Why is this leaning? Oh, it actually does do something, doesn't it? What? Was that what I was supposed to do? Just jump at the wall or did I have to cling to it? That's ridiculous. Who's this? Parvati, wife of Shiva. I had to cling to it? Holy shit. Wow. Oh crap. Oh god. 
Okay, so I was able to warp out, or use uh, another weight to leave. But now I have a platform and I can climb up. Gotcha. Man, that's zonky. I was just mashing down. I've started to do that now. Assuming there's a secret weight location. Hey, woman statue. Okay. So now I can probably do something in... I can go try taking it to that, uh, the fertility statue picture on the back of the wall in the Temple of Moonlight, so I'll do that in a minute. This is the Zonk Zone. Now, I didn't check all the edges here to see if there's a warp. Alright, I can't believe that. I can't attack it to destroy it. All right, we lit up those two lights, but that didn't appear to have any clear purpose. Whoa, oh, okay. So there was a warp. Have I been here before? I may have. There's another version of this screen in the Chamber of Extinction. Don't hit the center wall. I feel like I can probably climb in there so I can scan and see that's Ganesh, right? Maybe. A shield. Maybe not. Palank summers inside the mural within. Huh. I think that's a boss name from the way it's been highlighted. Alright, I was lucky. The warp? Oh shit. Cool. I don't want to hit that side wall. Wait. This thing warped me before. Why is it not warping me now? Weird. Okay, and that's a one-way path, and I can't get past that laser thing yet. Let me see if I can get back over there. Oh, really? You hear cracking noises and just rubbing against it? Is it at the very bottom here? God damn it. Okay. Don't swing at the wall this time. No, it was up further up. Have they just never walked up against this before? Oh, I didn't actually... I didn't process that, if that's the case, sir. That's, that was the effect of doing that. Yeah, and I didn't realize that that's what actually happened. But that's cool, though. Yeah, I can see the little glowing wall warp thing. I guess it just disappears once you use it once, if you fuck it up. Yeah, no worries. Whoa! Cool. So that's presumably just spawned the boss that's supposed to be there, right? Okay. So... I can try fighting that boss. Uh, I've got a bunch of stuff to do now, so bear with me as I have... non-clinical ADD. Um, I'm gonna try to do this... Uh, maternity statue puzzle because I've been thinking about that forever no, I don't have an onk jewel oh, sure. yeah, I guess I haven't found one in a while huh? alright well I'll see if I'm sure I'll stumble on one as a puzzle solution at some point I think I have to be inside the pyramid so All the way around. I think this is my fastest path in there still. Go ahead and equip the thing now. The fuck? 
These weren't here before. What? You can go ahead and just tell me what what triggered all of the lights being in this room. Scan this thing real quick. Won't be with child when within the man. They want me to use her in here. Picking up the woman statue. Oh, they're little sperms. <laughs> Because there's a little man symbol, and that's what the sun is. Okay. So... I think I've got the right idea here. Do I just have to use it on a certain tile? Oh, wait. There we go. What caused that to happen? I like I played the trap noise. Rainbow sperm. So now it's the maternity statue. Okay. Cool. Pretty sure I know which seal that is. You have to sit in the room for 30 seconds. Wow. Do you have to have it equipped or just in your inventory somewhere? Sweet. Hmm. Use it again here, maybe? No. Let's me get up here. That's the only clue I had, right? Was you use the statue of the woman here? Look, I did write down some notes about this puzzle. This is the one where it said that I had to sleep inside the, uh... Temple of the Moonlight, and I've... Really, I have no idea what sleeping means. As if it just means stand still for a really long time. Is there like an idle animation you'll do if you do nothing for a long period? Am I on the right track with that? I assume I have to be doing it like here. Oh yeah, I just noticed the little fallopian tubes in the back there. That's cool. Uterus. Yeah. Kinda on the right track. Hmm. What else is on the... Uh... And then we could go... If we go north, it takes us out of the zone. If we go... West and north, that's also out of the zone, so we're really limited in the parts of the map we can be on here. Um, I guess we can go further down, and let's take a look. Whoa! Uh... Because I was standing still? He falls asleep on the pause screen! That's... oh my god. That's a pretty cool puzzle. I mean, that's ridiculous, but that's cool. The four philosophers were awakened. I just got an achievement, so I can go talk to... I think I've met three of them so far. That's completely insane. One of the four philosophers. Okay. So I think I remember where they all are. Um, go save and heal. Thank you for not retro. It was fun to find out on accident there. We'll discuss that in Hydro in the future. That's pretty crazy. This game is insane. Borderline fourth wall breaky. Okay, so there's one in the Spring in the Sky. Off to the west, I think. Best theme. later and get rid of the maternity statue for now. Is that all that I'd use the maternity statue for, or does that have any other uses anywhere else in the game? Actually, let me ask that question about, do I use the mini doll, the key of eternity, 
the maternity statue or the pepper anywhere else in the game. I assume the Lamp of Time's gonna come up again. I haven't used the Dragon Bone yet. And I haven't used the Talisman yet. The fact that the Serpent Staff came up in another area worries me a little bit. Commend you for reaching me. My name is Giltorio, one of the four philosophers and the philosopher of knowledge. The mother failed time and time again. The first child could not see for what the mother truly longed, waiting on her powers. The second children were destroyed in the Civil War of the Giants. Oh, the children are the bosses, aren't they? Fourth children were a race of men in the form of fish. It's sought the secret of life and death. There were dolls of clay made by the fifth children. So why we, the seven children, were born of the earth. Hmm, gave no memory of the mother to you, the eighth children. Only those who perceive the mother as ruins could truly defeat her. The mother's flesh spans a whole of these ruins. It's impossible to defeat her, you must attack her soul. Summon the mother's soul here and force her to take shape. The technique has been laid out for you. Drive eight wedges into the mother's body. Okay. So I've seen the wedges. Take the Jed Pillar and the Magatama Jewel, neither of which I've found, and recite the mantra. I have found mantras. Mantra has been described on the markers. I found those mantras in the Temple of the Sun. So I'll have to refer back to this text later. No. Set the mother free. She doesn't sound super friendly. Okay, and I can talk to her again to get this dialogue a second time. Do you want to hear it again? No, Mr. Owl. Okay. Uh, there's one in the Tower of the Goddess. Hey, Goomba, how you doing? Good seeing you. Some of these items may have further uses. Great. Thanks. Here's another one I opened up the path to. Thank you for reaching me. Samaranta, philosopher of power. Mother soul sleeps within the shrine of the mother. That is where the last Ankh lies. The last red light will reveal its true form. Travel in these ruins, your strength will put the mother to rest. We the four philosophers have been blocking three paths. My path has been opened. Okay. Okay. I just met Giltorio, so maybe I can go talk to him again now that I've talked to this guy. Oh, cool. All right, well, I'll go... Let me go do this Giltorio thing first while I'm thinking about it. And the other one. And I haven't found the fourth philosopher yet. There's one more that's in the... Uh, uh, Moonlight Temple that I actually forgot to go to. I could have gone to it immediately after getting the ocarina. Probably a good place to tell you what it does. I wouldn't have known to try that. Well, I guess the item description says that it affects the four philosophers. But I got an achievement, too. Going really well. I really dig this game. It's pretty awesome. Okay, maybe she's... Maybe that philosopher has opened something just by telling us that. Has has something... Has a new path opened from talking to Giltorio there? Or is it just kind of like Giltorio explaining what we're supposed to do to progress? Let's go back... I think I remember the ocarina affecting the philosophers in the Inverted Pyramid. That sounds familiar now. Something open. God, is it in the Spring of the Sky zone at least? Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, this map is way too expansive for me to try to find it. Can someone Google figure out like on what screen talking to? The spring in the sky, uh, philosopher. What would it open? Would it change? Well, the one philosopher said Giltorio would open something somewhere. So, endless corridor. Wow. Yeah, I had marked that off as a zone I never needed to return to, which is probably a mistake. <laughs> but I, I thought all the puzzles there were pretty self-contained. Thank you for checking. I'll go check that out in a second. That's right, I can't attack in here. Oops. Still true, even after doing the maternity statutes thing. Alcidana, which is presumably the one that does not uh, 
open a path. Long slumber to grant the mother's wish. The mother descended this land from the sky. She's like Genova. Lost her ability to move, so gave birth to many children. This is the origin of humanity. Mankind was born to return the mother to the skies. They gain knowledge of these ruins, a part of the world outside. This is super creepy, man. This whole mother thing is very, like, Lovecraftian. So the mother herself. The apostle sent the mother home to the skies. The wish cannot be granted. The best we can do is give her eternal sleep. Set the mother free from her sadness. Oh, there's a faded lather there with a the philosopher symbol. That's a shop down there. Okay, so let's go further down. Put my buffs on here. Door over there is the uh, fairy lady. Probably not on this floor. This was the number puzzle. Oh, is that what I just opened up there? Well, shit, how do I get up there? Oh, there's a ladder. <laughs> the long search is over. Whoa! Okay. Some pillars. Chests that I can't get to. And these bone pillars that I can't move through at all. Can I do anything in this room right now? It doesn't really look like it. Oh, that's the other side. Oh, I just noticed the Shrine of the Mother is in the shape of body. That's cool. I don't know, having a... Oh god, I'm having some drop frames again. Super passes. Um, having a giant sapient being like fall to the earth from the skies and then birth humanity and want to be returned to the skies, that's, that's pretty, uh, that's pretty Lovecraft. And so it's not a skull, interesting. Can't do anything there yet. Okay. So, I'm trying to think what I could possibly do to go through that area. All I can think is maybe I can do something to interact with the, um, the bone walls. And that's what's blocking my path in several areas around that zone. But I don't think I've ever broken one by attacking it, so I think that's it. The answer is dumber than I could possibly imagine. Hey, dumb answers. Okay, so there's not another path here. Maybe one more step down. I think it was east another screen from here. You can check though. Let me just go over one more room just in case there's not something off this way. This is where if I touch the floor I get warped out. Okay, nothing over here. Is it really just that new path to the chamber of the mother?
There's another zone exit down here somewhere. Hey, not even... Really? Oh, this is one of my favorite zones, just because it's so, um... It's really, like, internally consistent. It's a bunch of puzzles that all just occur in the same area. Whereas we've been to a lot of zones. It must have just been that other ladder that I opened up, right? There's nothing else to find here. I feel like a lot of the other zones are, uh... Puzzles are just kind of all over the map. I guess maybe it's less in the spirit of the game as a whole, then. Okay, so that's one of the wedges. I don't know what to do with the wedges yet. They certainly don't have mantras or the jed pillars or whatever the hell they want. Yeah, see, here's another... Uh... So we're going to have to find some object that lets us get through that. There's another wedge in the wall over there. This is the sealed open that chest, which I don't have yet. Another bone pillar up there. Son of a bitch. Bats. I don't think there's anything new for me to do in this zone right now. Shrine of Mother. Helmax room. Tiamat's room. different boss names. More of those bone pillars that I can't cross. Blank's room. Baphomet's room. They don't all have a wedge though, which is interesting. I feel like I should be able to get this chest. Uh, wait, really? Was that all that I had to do? It's pretty ridiculous. Bounce shot. Does this software have some combo with something else? I'm just gonna try sub weapons on the thing. It's just the first one I swapped to. Was there a clue about that chest or just the fact that it's kind of hidden behind a wall that you're meant to try that? It's uh, Baphomet. It holds the power of life. This power sheds itself and the soul is shattered. Secret treasure of life. Guarantees combat fairies. Okay, that's the only combo. I'm still suspicious about these four statues up here. But I don't think I have the tools to mess around with them yet. Okay, there's the Vi Wedge, right? Ow. Can I do anything with this demon statue right now? My current tools. Hey, HDL, how you doing? Yeah, how you been? Maybe. Maybe. Well, the only item that I know I'm supposed to use in this zone is this dragon bone. That was it. Okay. Oh, I gave it a head. That's cool. Yeah, it said to use it on an altar in the center of the map. I thought it said center. I might be remembering incorrectly. Okay. What did that do? Save. Cool. The map shall guide the way to the dragon bone. Oh, did it make all the little bone pillars go away? Oh, that's cool. Alright, well that's opened up a bunch of shit I can do here now. Yeah. I remember finding the dragon bone and thinking I gotta use that somewhere in the Shrine of the Mother, because I remembered the clue about that, but... I did not have any idea where. This is also part of Pulling's room. Okay. Um, well, I got a bunch of places that were blocked by those bone pillars that I can check out now, so let me go try to do that. The statue there doesn't exist until you have both the dragon bone and the map? Wow. 
That's pretty stupid. Interesting. So you would you would come to that room and you wouldn't see a statue and think, oh, once I get the dragon bone, I'll bring it back here, because you don't know that it exists. So you have no reason to go and explore that area. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. Oh, you have to have the Diego Street software too? Wow. So there's a chest over there, but I can't get over there because there's this giant pillar that's in the way that I don't seem to be able to attack. Hmm. Where else were there bone pillars blocking my path? That was the big one I remembered. There's the one I just unlocked. Let me check that out too. I think I can get up here now, I previously couldn't. The Philosopher reveals the path only to the Chosen One in these depths to all of your eight spirits. There's the Golem boss. Suck it. Oh, I don't have it equipped. Yeah, glad that it didn't require that. Definitely tell me if that becomes an issue in the future. The fuck? Huh. Need to get to that dais down there to be able to use that? Shit. Shit. Okay, well, hold on. I need to go heal. After I go heal, I may as well go hit the uh, new door I just opened up that, I sh that shouldn't have bone pillars anymore. Guess I can show the um, Eternity statue to Zelpid. Does he only do that for the usable items, or does he do it for sub-weapons and stuff too? Diary. What? Let me figure something out. That's in response to me having the maternity statue equipped that he just said that? Yeah, what's the lore clarification? Although, maybe discuss it in hide first, because... The lore in this game kind of reminds me of Dark Souls, where you're kind of going to not put it all together on your first playthrough. And that's fun for me. Off west, right? Okay. Those are gone now. Right. Translation software has finished learning the ancient characters. Okay, so I should be able to read everything now. I didn't mark all the places that had La Mulanese script, but I think it kept them with the glowing icon, so I can just watch out for all the tablets. Which of the weapon in thy hand? Key to the awakening lies within. Achievement unlocked. Read all the paleographies. Talking about the key sword? Most of they mean for way later, like waking up the mother is gonna require that. God damn it. This is not a long walk after that. Jump a little bit later.
Wait a little longer on the timing. Hey! That's really exciting. We have all the seals in the game now. Oh well, there's still a spot for a fifth one. But I don't think I've ever seen a fifth seal. Okay, um... So, there's a lot of places that I might be able to use that. I think there's one in the Temple of the Sun. Over by the Horus statue. So much non-clinical ADD. Death penalty is you reload your save. You're not going to keep anything. Doesn't even remember the tablets that you scanned. So if you uh, scanned one and died, and it was a tablet that is an event flag, you got to make sure you scan it again. I know there's a shop here because the um, there's like a chime that plays. How oh, weird. The only discount shop in the ruins. Ah, so this is the cheaper grenade. They're cheaper bullets. Is that what that is? Yeah. That's fine for now. Cool. Um, where else did I see one of those? There's one in the Shrine of the Mother. A couple of them in the Shrine of the Mother, actually. And the ability to, like, get checkpoints is, uh, gated. It's an item you have to get. Arm or a leg instead of both. It's a discount of, like, 20 coins, right? It isn't bad, but it's just not super great either. I'm guessing the one that has the four seals is just gonna be a, uh, a health bonus thing. Maybe they'd put something important there, but it's such an obvious puzzle for this game. Puzzle. What the hell did that do? Huh. I'm not. I mean, there's clearly a room over here. A way to fall down, but I can't break the floor there. I'm making a noise. It would be very, uh. Earth Boundy. Did I accomplish something there? I didn't feel like anything changed. I said there's a way to drop down over here somewhere. Hey, called it. And the only other thing that triggered... Is this the puzzle he was talking about? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's ridiculous. This guy has been completely useless for the entire game. He keeps sending us these emails. Do I even have that turned on? Okay, I do. You should come talk to me. And you come talk to him and he's like... I like playing video games. I'm bored. Wow. That's crazy. Diary. Research notes. I have my diary. He's definitely Sean Connery. That should blush me. So that was just an event flag that when I saw this puzzle, I had to go... Well, I had to have cleared the bone pillar, right? Otherwise I wasn't able to get over there. So you clear the bone pillar as an event flag. And then... You go talk to Zelput, and he's like, I'll go help you get the diary. Because we're supposed to know that that was the diary chest, right? That's pretty silly. Hmm. How do I get down there?
You have to rub yourself against the pillar too? Wow. Oh, okay. Ow, oh, son of a bitch. Can I get this chest over here right now with the tools I have? Shit, didn't realize I forgot that went all the way down. Wait for it to come all the way up. Not at the moment. Okay, thank you. Um, there are still other things that I would like to explore here. Let me go heal. Show him the diary. I'm an invincible old man. <laughs> Descendants of a race who sees the departing off. We're the seventh children of the mother. So the children probably aren't the bosses. I remember there was a um, tablet that said something about the different children having different shapes. And one of them was like snake body. So I'm like, okay, that's one of the bosses we fought, the flying body. But the, unless if there's a boss that's just like a person, that wouldn't make sense. Last race, the eighth children, India present day. Mulana Talisman. You get your hands on the cursed treasure. Oh. Go see the philosophers in your father's stead. Still have a philosopher I need to meet. That purple treasure chest might be the cursed treasure. Makes sense. It would be nice if they were actually within a couple screens of each other for once. I'll go try that really quick. And I still have to go to the Gate of Illusion. There's a puzzle that apparently I can do now that previously I couldn't do. Oops. I think I'm pretty done with the Mausoleum of Giants as well. There should be a, a ton more in the Shrine of the Mother that I can explore, having removed all of those bone pillars everywhere. Such a weird way to design the whole stage, though. There's one puzzle that opens paths on just about every single screen. Although I guess most of them are just convenience. Here we can just walk along the top here and keep going on this long path in the bottom. We got that chest. I don't know what this did yet. I can't like drop through the floor. Try attacking the floor. Uh, other things don't make any sense. Oh, if you walk right back into his hut after he says, I can help you with this, he's gone? That's cool. All right. Is this the cursed treasure? Crystal skull, hey! Use the item button to unlock a seal in a certain place. So it was the Milana Talisman that let me get that, right? I still don't know how to get to the uh, pillar down there. Or dais, I should say. Maybe I have to warp there from somewhere else. Alright, uh, Crystal Skull, there are two places where I can use that. Um, let me... Surface. One of them is... Actually, I thought this might spawn after we beat the boss, but maybe it's when you get this thing. There's that area in the Twin Labyrinths with the two skulls in the ceiling where you had to, like, jump on Neptune. Um, I get so lost in this zone, so if someone wants to tell me, like, relative to a landmark where that room is... It's a room that has Neptune in it, and you can jump on his belly button, and then up in the ceiling there's a... Uh, there's these two blue glowing skulls. But I do not remember where that is. A few screens to the right. Okay, cool. Hey, a good call. That wasn't so bad. Crystal skull. 
sweet. Ooh, this is a new zone. Music's really sweet. It's just a free map. Huh. I get worried when I see a puzzle like that. Oh, where does that go? Shit. Doesn't have a symbol over it. This theme is really cool. Dimensional corridor. Tiamat, right? Closed off space created by Tiamat. Where does this go? Interesting. It's a one way warp to the endless corridor. This is new. Chant these words, the name of the child of God who doth defy Tiamat, the name of the root of all suffering, the one that brought the eleven demons upon us, Marduk. That's Sumerian mythology. Recorded new mythology, new mantra, Marduk. Where did I record that mantra? That thing wasn't there before, right? It triggered from me going to the dimensional corridor and warping out? Is that how that works? Alright, well, I can do more stuff in the Dimensional Corridor. Let me go finish exploring. See if I can find other places that the Bone Pillar opened up. Um, <clears throat> did doing that unlock a bunch of other Mantra Pillars elsewhere in the game? I think that... The Temple of the Sun behind the Sphinx, there is a thing that listed. Oh, okay. That's nothing new. And then dropping down just takes us back to the Chamber of Extinction. Um, what else is here? That might be pretty much everything interesting. No? Okay. Because the, the Temple of the Sun behind the Sphinx, there is a bunch of clues. Oh, there's another symbol on the wall back there. Can't do anything with it, though. Still don't know what, if anything, I changed over on this side here. Maybe it's a bombable thing? Nope. Apparently not. I don't know, then. That's the Amphis Vena Wedge. Endlessness and Dimensions sorts of two laws with their strong powers. So that's how you know the Endless Corridor is connected, I guess. Okay, so I think I found everything there is to find there for now. So let's go to Tower of the Goddess, finally. And then go to the Gate of Illusion and do the puzzle there. Do I need the mailer equipped anymore? I really... It would be a lot easier for me to swap stuff around if I unequipped it, but I'm worried that I'm going to get some important mail. Okay. So let me go read these puzzles again really fast. Wisdom's buried within the wall. Hold high the emblem of proof before the palace guarded by Hell's Gatekeeper. Glowing letters will shrine through the darkness. The wisdom is in fact the virtual wise man, keeper of the mantra. Okay, well I don't know the emblem of proof. Shining pillars are the child's feelings, the glowing feelings of the dancing child. The reason the feeling shining lies in a very strange treasure. The treasure disappears. If everything disappears all at once, the child will be saddened and the spirit will cloud over. And that has the dancing person holding a bunch of objects. 
Wandering Lizard casts off the light. Unable to bear it, he casts it off. The light he casts off was the light of his spirit. It turns the lizard, the pillar of light will disappear. And this one's just go kill the bird boss. Okay. So. Disappears all at once. I don't have a way to do that with my current weapon. Like, I can't plant bombs and set them all off at the same time. Uh, I... Hmm. Oh, okay. So I think I have to stop time, hit all of them, and then let it stop. Yeah. Okay, I didn't realize they wouldn't break during time stop. That's cool. Is that close enough? Didn't play a you got this thing sound effect. Definitely seems like that's the right strategy though. So I can see easily enough. Hmm. Did I do that wrong? It looks like the clock ran out just at the last second. I was a frame too late. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Is there a nearby place for me to refill my shit? I guess I could just load. Just by a split second. Yeah, thank you for telling me. That, that's definitely the kind of thing where I think, like, okay, I guess that wasn't it. And then I would move on and try something else. Left from the Tower of Ruin. Okay, thanks. Should have guessed that the timing would be pretty aggressive in here, too. There we go. Thank you. So that's one. Why it was possible now and not possible before. Shit. He only takes damage in the head. Man, is there a way for me to get back here without warping every time? Like a shortcut I can open or something? Maybe that's the intent of that, is you just don't want to get knocked back at all. There's still a thing in that room that I haven't gone and checked out. I probably should have done it before the... Um, the bird boss spawn, with the hand that you have to jump very precisely over to. But on my way there, I got distracted by the path to the right, and I never tried doing it. Which I think is what spawned the uh, the Birdman. Maybe I can just not attack him and get up there safely. Let's try that. That did something. Oh, it made the ladder go further down. Hooray! They're kind about something for once, jeez. that forever. We want to be attacking him where he knocks us, Belmonts us into the right wall for as much of that fight as possible. I think he also only takes damage in his head. This could take a while. No, it's kind of them to even let you get back up here retro by solving a puzzle in the corner by hitting that hand. Like before, if I fell down here, I had to warp out of the room. I had to equip a different software, warp out of the room, and come all the way back. It was pretty shitty. 
I'm just gonna unequip this for now. I guess I can turn it on every now and again if I need to. Okay. You guys have different standards for La Mulana Kind than I do after playing it for 24 hours. Probably just need to wait until I've got him in a good spot where I can damage him on the right side and just dodge him until he's back into a good spot again. So like when he's here, I can't really do shit. Crap. Overjumped it. We're gonna be playing for about another 30 minutes or so before sub-block today. Today is Marble Drop, Lost Odyssey, and uh, Etrian Odyssey, two Odyssey games. Okay. He's always going to move over here. If I stand on this pillar, I'm pretty safe. You guys will try to do some damage from a distance. Crap. I wish you could double jump after walking off a ledge. Is there a sub weapon that could make this a little bit more tolerable? I can try the flare gun. Got enough shots for it. a little bit down. Oh, that's really bad. I don't want him to go there. Man, this guy's hitbox. Hurtbox, I should say. Come here. You know you want to. There we go. Oh, jeez. him at all from there. First try, lost all the money, but whew, that was rough. All right, let's go heal. Need to get someone in the game that like reduces the memory cost of different softwares. Need like a programmer. Oh yeah, if I don't use the mailer, then I can only I only have to swap out one thing. That's convenient. Well, I think we want it to be the death one, not the move one, because the move one combos with a bunch of other stuff, and if I lose it, it's a pain. Okay, so that's two. I need to find a lizard that's on the same screen as a light. And I don't think that those blue lights count, because there was one in like the top left corner of the ruins that I was trying to use before. It wasn't doing shit. There's no light on this screen. There are lizards. Oh, does that message have something new on it? Hold on. It took me like 20 plus hours in this game to notice that those uh, tablets glow. Oops. Seriously? I thought I could read all the Lamulana script now. 
Oh, I unequipped it. Dang it. That's why. Interesting. Oh, I just didn't save when I triggered it before. Okay, that's why. Well, so much for that. Costing 120. So I don't think it's up anywhere. There's no lizards off in that direction. No lizards in here. It goes back to the Gate of Guidance. Which I guess is another way to get over here, but I don't think it's as efficient as the temple. So if it's going to be over here, I can just warp to that point now. It's another thing I have to read. Eleven children guard Tiamat's room. There the Holy Grail is rendered powerless. Great! This must be the light they're talking about, right? Seriously? I guess there's the little panel in the back. Oh, that panel in the back wall! I was supposed to use my, uh, my bombs on that. I saw it and scanned it forever ago. You could just break it the whole time by swinging at it? God damn it. I remember I actually scanned the thing too, like, huh, I'll have to come back here with a bomb later. Okay, so I need to move this to get the lizard to come down. That's ridiculous. Here, bud. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. No! Don't do that! You have to go up and, like, find a way to physically block him from taking the ladder back up. You can't break it until you activate the puzzle? Oh, jeez. I'm not a fan of the event flags. I feel like they could've... The game would still work with fewer event flags. Like, if I could have hit that earlier, it would have been really clear to me that that was the light puzzle they were talking about. So, should be able to climb up here. Or no, actually. There's a warp wall over here. I have a different way of getting up there. Maybe. Yes. This game... That brazier doesn't do anything, right? The one that I knocked out earlier? Oh, okay. So doing that open the dais is presumably to remove the lasers. Do I just go talk to her to open the chest? Thank you, guests. My job here is finished. This place gives birth to evil life under orders of the four philosophers. Are you talking about this life creation thing? Use the cog of soul. I've got the Sephiroth in here with a little golem symbol at the bottom. Cog of soul are written between the circle of the Cog of the soul. Ancient Contraption. I'm wondering if the Sephiroth tablets in the room here are connected to that, and they keep talking about using it to create life. Um, let's see, Chamber of Birth is in the other world. Oh, I'm confused. Oh, I never got a warp to Chamber of Birth. Okay. Um, what are ways that I've taken to get to Chamber of Birth? I think I've been there from the Graveyard of the Giants. Didn't I get there from another zone as well? Was it Temple of the Goddess? I don't think it was Tower of Ruin. I think like five. Oh, the Brazier spawned the Ghost Maidens, I see. May have been one of the new temple things. Tower of the Goddess. Okay, thanks. One of the new ones that I just opened up today. Five. Oh, this, was this here before? Uh. So. 
A one-time challenge. Achievement unlocked. Prove thy knowledge. This is a permissible. Can I use the me reload really quick? When did this open up? This wasn't here before. I've dropped down here a bunch of times. I got an achievement saying a one-time challenge. Philosophers did it. Oh, okay. There's two ways into the room then, I guess. So it's some kind of scale puzzle. Ooh. Let me look up my Amulana text dump. I'm just gonna Google. I think I've read stuff about balancing scales before. There's little things in the back that maybe show where it's going to go to. Balance the spirit. Oh, these objects all must have different weights, huh? But I guess you just have to do trial and error to know what those are. Oh wait, no, 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 I've seen this before. I've seen this, emerald, right? Okay, hold on. I remember these clues forever ago. Uh, gem. Black onyx means eloquence, purple amethyst indicates sincerity. Meanings are infused into the gemstones. Ruby means passion, the sapphire means affection. Have I found all the clues to solve this one? Because I definitely have the names of the different rocks, the gemstones, but um, I don't think I know any values. Like I've tried Googling for eloquence and sincerity. Or maybe another way to put it is where is, I don't have all the clues. Okay, I don't want to just do it then if it's a one-time thing. Am I able to get to all the clues right now? Can you like tell me what zone the missing clue is? In the meantime, I'll keep progressing here. you look them up. I know, I'm pretty sure I know the names of all the gems. I think I, I even wrote all those down before when I was taking notes directly. What I don't know is how I can possibly like associate a balance to them. One's in Moonlight. Okay. They keep the trend of all of the little puzzles like that being um, Putting uh, all the permanent missable puzzles, opening new whip upgrades, that would be pretty great. Which means I have the extra whip damage thing. Well, I already got this one, but I'll check it here. The one I'm missing is in Moonlight. Top the Naval of Neptune. That's a good clue.
I think I'm going to end up taking the Cog of the Soul, the Chamber of Birth. I don't know where there, though. That's where we were going a second ago in the Temple of Paradise. Oh, I can relight my thing. Cool. So I had the Sephiroth there. That's the Eden one. Oh, ha 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 This is a really cool puzzle. Okay, Joyful is 20. Eloquence, 44. Sincere, 50. Blissful, 63. Pure, 70. Passionate, 81. Affectionate, 99. Okay, so let me map all those. Joyful is pearly white. Eloquence is black. It's the onyx one. Sincere is purple. Blissful is blank. I didn't get that one. Passionate is red. Affectionate, blank. Black is eloquence, purple amethyst is sincerity. I think sapphire is affection, so affection is blue. go back and see if I can solve it while I'm in that room. Oh, I needed to have deciphered the script to read this one. I see. So I couldn't have read it before. Not just that I didn't write it down. Alright, first I should do the math and figure out what's a balanced combination. So I'll do that in one second. So, let's see. So we have to do the odd numbers and even numbers, right? Total is 20, 44, 50, 63, 70, 81, 99. So 354 divided by 2. So side has to equal 177. So, uh, let's use your sudden down limit. That's a cool puzzle. Getting seven on both sides is actually kind of hard. Wait, I must have done my math wrong. Hold on. Wait, can it not balance? Something's fishy. 50, 63, 70, 81, 99. Dude, I don't think they can balance, can they? Because it adds up to 427. Let's do that one more time to make sure I'm not crazy. Unless if there's a gem that's not included. That's possible. Okay. Um, let me go back and save again. There's another clue that I found already. Uh, can you tell me the clue in question? Paste the text is fine. So I'm gonna do with eloquence, joy, sincerity. I guess it's power and knowledge. It has no text. Huh. Where is it?
Alright, so that's the pearly white one. That's joyful. I'm just going to go through all of them and see what the different blocks are. Weird thing in Mausoleum of the Giants. The, the Celestial Disc or something else? Uh, eloquent 44 seconds. I think that one's purple. Yeah. So sincere fifty third. Actually they gave us the order of the numbers on that other the one that had just the numbers listed. Yeah. Sixty three fourth. Blissful is green, it must be. But I think that it just gives you the numbers of the, the things in order. Oh wait, that can't be right. There's pearly white. I could have sworn the first one was the one that was pearly white. Hmm. Oh yeah, the weird computer screen. I do remember that. Um, let me go back there again. Hold on. That's a really random puzzle to be relevant here. I completely forgot about that. And I had marked the Mausoleum of Giants as being done. Shit. Those are numbers, right? So something one. Hey Sornas, welcome home. Let me look up my list of alum alone numbers one second. First one is sixty one. Thank you, McPin. Um, yeah, 61. But what is it that 61 is the question? Unless if that's a clue as to what number we're trying to reach. I don't see like a gem that's near that that makes that clear. That would, that might be the number that I need to balance it again. Hold on. I add 61 on the top. That wasn't one of the numbers that was listed on the other thing. 20, 44, 50, 63, 70, 81, 99, 61 divided by 2 is 244, which is something I should actually be able to reach. I need scissors 61. It could be that 61 is the gem that I don't have a number for. I'll finish looking at all of the possibilities here one sec. I still think that's the one that's pearly white, but it's hard to say for sure. It looks pretty white. Onyx, purple, sincere, blissful's probably green. This is the wild card. It's red. And the last one's blue. Okay, that's what it is. There's one additional gem, and the additional gem is the one that's 61. That's crazy. Okay. Uh, so... Red is 81. How am I supposed to know that that's the associated gem? Can I, like, scan it or something? What's supposed to be my clue about that extraneous gem? The pearly white one is, like, the round opal. I do have that right, yeah. I guess I can just swap those two if I get it wrong. Okay. 
that's sick. Not on the right track. Well, I have the numbers right for... My only confusion is between the opal and the other white gem. Am I on the wrong track even with that? Because I can definitely assign a number to every other color. So I can say that pearly white's definitely 20 and is likely the first gem or whatever the other white gem is. The second one is definitely onyx, is definitely 44. The third one is definitely purple, is definitely sincere, which is 50. The fourth one is definitely green. Well, I guess it's blissful. It could be, there's a confusion there too. Blissful could either apply to the green gem or to... Is it because the, the numbers were green? That's how you're supposed to know that that means 61 because it's a green color to the numbers? I bet that's what it is. Okay, blissful 63, also white. So, I need to go back through. That means it's 61, 63, not 63, 61. That's right. Hey, Yahan, how's it going? Um, looks like you, you get the stones in order of weight then, if that's correct. that to be the case, is it 99 plus 50 plus 44 is 20? No. The mausoleum thing makes more sense than I seem to think. I'm not sure that's a helpful clue. I have a feeling that that's going to make sense with hindsight once the puzzle's been solved, but I don't know if that's going to get me on the right track to solving it. We're about at time for La Mulana anyway, so we can open with this puzzle next stream. Let me reset. For now, I don't see in any way how the random number 61 printed on a computer console in the Muslim of Giants has anything to do with that puzzle since there aren't any tablets that refer to it to my knowledge. Unless if there's another tablet that you're thinking of that I haven't discovered yet. We'll be back in a little bit with Patreon subblock, well, just regular old subblock today featuring Marble Drop, Lost Odyssey, and Etrian Odyssey 4. It's a little bit of Lama. Be back soon.